Hey everyone and welcome back for part two of the fishing industry in our city Lakewood. In this episode we're going to be putting in something a little bit more permanent than what we have here. If you'll recall from the end of last episode I had a preview of what I had in mind which was putting in a marina over here for our fishing harbors and then a road running along the coast for our fish farms. Now it'll probably take us less time to put everything in than it will be to level up the industry. So once everything's in, I'll probably skip ahead to the end and show everybody the final product once everything's leveled up. Unfortunately, it looks like I may have already been using this area to deposit some soil from the other landscaping that we've done throughout the city. So before we get started, we'll just smooth everything out. And it's good to start with a relatively smooth area. Uh, the reason for that is the game uh, for the foundations for the roads and the buildings and things like that the game keeps those foundations perfectly flat. So if you start putting them in areas where the uh, terrain is a little bit sloped, you sometimes get wonky foundations starting to show up. I'm sure most of you already know that. So I like to just have everything nice and smooth before we get started, or at least relatively smooth. Sometimes you'll get some kind of uh, weird stuff still going on. You can always go back with the um, soften terrain tool. And I always like to use that. So for example, we could just go over here and so you can see that the terrain here by the train track doesn't look quite right. So what we can do with the soften terrain tool, well, that's not the soften terrain tool, let me switch to that. With the soften terrain tool, you can just run that along the edge here and it uh, makes it look relatively decent. So we can always go back and, and make it a little bit better afterwards. So we're gonna continue to flatten the terrain uh, just along the shore here. As I mentioned, we're gonna have a road actually going along this way here. And we're going to have our um, fishing farms along this side of the, the um, river here. So we'll go back and uh, make everything look nice afterwards. But for now, uh, just roughly get everything smoothed out so we can start placing our buildings and, and roads and things like that. Now, as for the roads for our uh, fishing industry... If you haven't already seen the uh, simple and efficient industrial layout video, uh, the, the farming industry here, what we have is we have two loops that the vehicles travel along. So we have this upper loop that we have our extractor buildings, and then we have this lower loop where we have our processing buildings. So basically the idea is that the uh, vehicles traveling for the extraction buildings can either go around the loop and then uh, just back out and export some of the products, or they can actually go to this lower loop here and bring some of the, the uh, raw resources to the uh, processing buildings to be processed into products and then shipped out uh, eventually afterwards. So for this, what we're gonna do is we're actually going to add another loop to this uh, loop here, to these other loops that we already have. Let's just move that out of the way. And we are going to add another loop for our fishing industry. So nothing too crazy. I'm just going to actually smooth out this corner a little bit. And eventually I'd like to go back and um, kind of redo these uh, industries here. Not, not because they're not working properly, uh, but because they don't look quite that good. So eventually I'm going to go back and redo those and make them look a little bit nicer. But for now we're just going to keep it as it is because it is working and uh, looks aren't always the most important thing. So we'll just leave that for now. do another uh, little curved road here so we'll have um, we'll kind of follow the same loops that we've been using for our farming industry so we're entering this side here this upper road and then this is where our loops are right now so we'll have the loop entering our fishing industry following the same direction of the road that's right here so we'll make sure that we upgrade these to one-way roads at least for this part and then this opposite side here will be our entrance, or exit from the, uh, sorry, exit from the fishing industry, but entrance back into the loop of the farming industry. So I'm gonna have this road come back all the way down towards the, uh, the shore here. And what I'd also like to do is I'm actually going to do a little bit of decorating along where we have our water intakes for the city. So I always thought that it was kind of weird that the um, water intake for the city wasn't filtered. I mean, we have the filters for the uh, exit of the, um, the wastewater going out of the city and into the water here, so we have a filtration system for that. 
uh, but we don't have a filtration system for the intake of the water. And I know there's uh, the pollution map and all that stuff, but I think in reality they, <laughs> they tend to filter the water that they're going to be putting into the city. So I think I'd like to do some um, filtration buildings. Obviously I won't turn them on, but uh, have some filtration buildings here and make it look like we are actually filtering our water that's going to our citizens. So we'll just roughly put that in for now. And then as for uh, the marina itself, I want to have it close to where our uh, water intake is. And we're going to do some uh, landscaping for that. So what we'll have is we'll actually put a road in to use as kind of the outline for where we're going to have our marina. So we're going to go uh, three let me just actually turn off the road guidelines, make this a little bit easier for myself. We'll go three uh, units up, three squares. And then I think I want to go, let me just check. Uh, we're going to go eight squares across. Oh no, that's way too big. We're going to go... So I had to go back and double check my test map, and it is actually almost eight units across, uh, seven and a half to be precise. <laughs> the reason for it being that big is that uh, we're going to actually try and fit all of the different uh, unique fishing harbors within our marina. So we're going to bring it across uh, seven and a half units, and we're going to try and go um, not quite perpendicular with the road that we already put on the other side, but pretty close. And then we're going to go down a little bit towards the shore. And I think that'll work well for now. And then I'm actually going to come across a little bit down at the bottom. So uh, marinas uh, in real life, I'm not obviously not an expert, but uh, I know a lot of them, they have a bit of a protective kind of barrier around the outside edge. They're not completely wide open. Um, so they like to uh, put in a protective barrier just to make sure there's not too many waves and stuff like that in the marina itself and, and damaging boats and things like that. So we're going to have a little bit of a road come up just across over here. And when we do our uh, landscaping, our terraforming, we're actually going to use that as a bit of a barrier so that our boats will be protected within the marina. Now as for the road going along the coast, we're just going to continue this road here a little bit. And it's not going to be anything too fancy, just a two-lane road going along the, the, the shore here. I'm going to use uh, the beach kind of as a template as we go along. You'll see that the terrain is actually uh, not looking too good along the side here, but I'm actually going to put a key along the edge and uh, kind of have a protected shoreline. So that'll look a little bit better once we get everything sorted out. But this is just to get everything in for now. I'm going to turn off these road guidelines just to make it a little bit easier for myself. So the terrain that we flattened out earlier is working quite uh, quite well. Uh, we're not have seeing too much I interference with the terrain itself. So that's good. And we don't actually have to go quite this far. We're probably going to end right around there. Uh, just because we don't actually need that many fish farms. <laughs> I'm not going to have it completely uh, all the way along here. We're just going to have one every once in a while. So I think that'll look well still the way it is. And then we can actually uh, put in the key right now. Just show everybody what I'm talking about. We will um, adjust the terrain a little bit possibly along the way and put in the key as we go. So we'll go into our water structures tab and put in the key along the shore here. So I'm also, let me just remove that again. I'm also going to use the uh, preform tool just as we go along here and try and make it uh, look a little bit nice and kind of go with the curves of the road as much as I can, at least anyway. I'm not really a huge fan of, of the way that the, the tool works for putting in the key. It sometimes can be a little bit tricky to get it going. So it's not gonna be perfect, uh, but that's okay. Um, you know, if you, if you look at keys in real life, sometimes they are not perfect. They kind of just go with the shore as best they can. I'm actually going to probably adjust that road a little bit and get it a little bit closer to the key once we uh, actually start putting in our fishing harbors. So we'll just bring it all the way along to the edge here. 
And what we can do is go back to our road tool, or pardon me, our terrain tool, landscaping tools, and we will just go along the outside edge here and bring everything down a little bit just so we don't have that uh, terrain poking up where we should have water. And we'll use this smoothing tool and just go back along that shore there and kind of uh, make it look a little bit nicer underwater. It's really tough to see the, um, the lines where we have our elevation for the um, underwater parts here, but just make it a little look a little bit nicer. There we go. And I think I will actually replace this road right now. Just make it a little bit closer to where we have the key. There, I think that will look nice, and we'll have to actually wait and see how it operates once we start getting some fish farms along the coast there. Uh, but for now, we'll just leave it as it is. And we're going to come back and we're going to just reconnect the uh, fishing industry road to the exit road that's going back into the farming industry here. So what we'll do is we'll have it just come off of this road that we have on the edge of the marina. We'll just have everything connect back up. Okay, I think that looks pretty good for right now. I will actually need to continue uh, connecting this road here. I think that'll be good too. And we're gonna have our key continue along the edge here where we have our intakes for the sea. Turn off all of our snaps again just have it curve around here a little bit i'm not going to go too far though it's uh it's kind of difficult to do a key around the uh, sharp corner that we have here so we're going to come up with something different i think we can figure something out to put there and i'm actually i'm going to smooth this out a little bit that corner looks really sharp let's go back in here smooth that out and delete that key we're going to have to curve that around once we uh once we do our terraforming here so going back into the uh, landscaping tools, we are going to go to the level terrain tool and we are going to be removing all of this terrain on the inside here to make our marina. So the good thing about the roads, as I'm sure most of you know, is that you can use them kind of as a block for your, your terrain tool. So if we wanna just uh, put in some soil here, we can see that the uh, terrain that we're trying to put in is being deformed by the roadway itself. You can't move the roadway. So we can use that to our advantage and we can actually go through and we can uh, use those as kind of uh, the edges of our marina. So we're going to click, uh, right click just in the middle of the uh, river that we have here at the, the deepest point so we can set our elevation that we want and we're going to just bring it through this area here. Then I'm going to continue depositing our soil on this uh, new mountain that we've created here. Alright, I've removed as much as I want to right now. Uh, once we actually start getting water coming in here, I'll, we'll go back and we will uh, actually gonna remove a little bit more right in the corner here. Uh, once we actually get start getting water in here, we'll be able to put a key around the outside edge and we'll be able to adjust the terrain a little bit again. Uh, I think it's going to be a, a little bit too deep for the fishing harbor. So once we put them in the um, kind of the stilts that the, the docks sit on, it's going to look really tall, I think, at this point. So we might kind of raise the water a little bit uh, just to make it look a little bit better. Uh, but for now, this is going to be a good starting point for us to uh, get water in that area and set up some of our fishing harbors, see how it looks, and then make adjustments as we need to do that.
everything's turned out pretty good so far. Uh, the terrain looks a little bit weird kind of along the edge near the road here, but uh, it seems to kind of go away once we get a little bit closer. Uh, so it looks like it's only something that shows up when you see it from a distance. But we'll be covering that up anyway with a key. So now that we actually have water in here, we'll be able to put a key around the inner edge of our marina. And as I mentioned earlier, it is a little bit tricky to put a key around this edge here. And it's going to be a little bit tricky to put a key around these corners here as well. So um, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to do the corners, but I think we're going to come up with something different to put along uh, this edge here. So I think that hides everything pretty nicely, and it honestly looks a lot better, I think, than the bare terrain uh, along the edge there. So I'll uh, just take a couple minutes here and put a key around the inside edge here. So the terrain wasn't fully cooperating around this corner here. It still looked a little bit weird, and I tried to actually use the uh, flattened terrain tool to actually level out the terrain that's on this side of the key, but that wasn't really working either. I think the uh, road was actually a little bit too close to the key itself and causing some issues. You can see a little bit of it still here, this little bit of a brown patch where we have it too close to the key. Um, I actually found a little bit more of that over here. I did a little bit of a road replacement um, during the time lapse and uh, this actually showed up as well so I think we're going to put one of our fishing harbors around here or pardon me our fish farms around here anyway so hopefully you kind of get rid of that terrain so that's another thing you have to be careful of is if you have your road a little bit too close to the key sometimes you do get a little bit of a weird issue with the terrain in between the key and the road itself. Now as for this part of our marina I think this is a little bit too thin for what I had in mind so I'm just going to go back to the terrain tool and uh, widen it out a little bit and from here I will just extend uh, the key on the outside edge here I had to remove it uh, while I was doing the uh, terraforming of the marina itself it uh, was a little bit too far away from the road that I wanted it to be so we'll just take it out and then replace it now that we have what we want Yeah, see, this is it's uh, this is one of the issues that I was talking about. So I think our road is maybe a little bit too close to our key here. So I'll have to extend that out a little bit more again. And you can still see it a little bit, but it's not as um, pronounced as it was last time. So I think I'll leave it there for now. I'm not going to bother spending too much time being too picky about everything. And... Trying to smooth it out, it looks like it's maybe getting a little bit darker and getting a little bit worse. So we'll just leave it as it is. Maybe put some trees right there, kind of just block it. And then uh, hopefully nobody will be able to see it. So I'll continue the key on the inner side here. Just up to about the point where we have it on the outside edge. And again, having a little bit of an issue with the terrain on this side as well. So we'll just extend it again. There, better than it was before, but you can still see it a little bit. Uh, but I'm thinking, I'm thinking uh, I'm gonna put some trees in here anyway, so I'm not gonna worry about it too much. And as I mentioned, we're going to try and figure out something to do on the uh, uh, the point here, right in front of our marina. So um, typically what happens sometimes too in areas where uh, along the coast they're worried about erosion and things like that, they tend to stack uh, rocks and things like that. So uh, at work, where I uh, work at, we call that riprap. I'm not sure if that's uh, called something uh, other places or it has an actual technical name, 
or if riprap is the technical name. I'm not actually 100% sure. So basically what it is is a bunch of rocks that they pile up along the shore and that kind of protects the uh, the shoreline itself and prevents or you know reduces the amount of erosion from uh, from waves crashing up against the shore. So we're just gonna randomly place a whole bunch of rocks around here. That is a pretty steep slope so what we'll do before we finish is we will also smooth that out a little bit I think. Make it look a little bit better. I'm gonna switch to these, some of these smaller rocks. So we'll just smooth that out a little bit, make the slope a little bit uh, a little bit lower than what it is right now, maybe. Kind of around the edge here. I think that looks pretty good, actually. And if this were real life, we would also probably have a lighthouse. And now, um, being that we're not using any mods, uh, we don't actually have a lighthouse, as far as I know. There is no lighthouse available in the vanilla game or any of the DLCs. So what I would like to do is in the Park Life DLC, I think it was the Nature Reserve, we have some street lights. And so what I'm going to do instead is if we have enough room, oh, it says cannot build on water. It's a little bit weird. Um, let me just extend the terrain here a little bit. Oh, that looks way better, actually. Do that around, all around here. Gotta smooth that out a bit. Maybe put some more rocks. Oh, why do I keep going to the budget panel? I don't know what's going on. Keep on misclicking over there. Put some more rocks just on the bottom part over here. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. And so we'll go back and we will actually try and put see if we can put some street lights. So obviously we're not really playing with the day night cycle right now, but uh, if it, we were uh, at nighttime, the street lamps that we're putting in here are actually going to light up. So obviously they're not going to have the rotating effect that an actual lighthouse would have, uh, but they will light up this edge here of our marina so that any boats coming in will be aware of the uh, giant rock formation that we have going on there. Okay, I think that's pretty much the kind of the basics of what we want to do. So for right now, what we can do is we can start putting in some of our fish harbors and our fish farms. So as I mentioned before, the goal is to have all four unique types of fish harbors in our marina here. But uh, for right now, we only have the generic, the default fishing harbor unlocked. And you'll notice also that the type of fish has actually changed based off of our uh, water conditions. So as I mentioned before, I think it was the anchovies, the uh, orange color here, they prefer uh, shallow, calm water. So because we have this marina here, it's somewhat protected, it's a little bit calmer than what it is inside the river channel here. So the anchovies are now in this area and uh, that's pretty cool. So if you're missing a certain type of fish and for whatever reason, if you, if you want that type of fish in your city, you can actually artificially adjust the water and try and get uh, these different types of fish. But luckily you can also go, as I mentioned, outside of your city limits. So for us, we actually have all different types of fish available to us. So we don't have to really uh, adjust our water too much. So I will be putting um, all four of the uh, fishing harbors in, as I mentioned. But for now, we'll just put in four of the generic harbors and start accumulating some of the fish because it's going to cost us, or pardon me, it's going to take us uh, two million fish resources farmed to actually unlock everything. So we'll squeeze everything in. So we'll have one on that side and then three along the other side over here. And we can see that the terrain is actually a little bit messed up around our fishing harbors here. So we'll have to... Oh, that made it even worse. Wow, look at that. So we'll have to make some adjustments. To try and figure out what's going on there. That is a little bit strange. I'm not exactly sure why it's doing that. And 
my softened terrain trick is not really working very well. Uh, I'll be back. I'm just going to try and solve this and get back to you. Hold on one second. So I think what the problem was, was that the terrain around the key of our marina here was actually maybe a little bit too steep. So what I've done is I've gone along the edge here and I've actually extended uh, the terrain a little bit. I think maybe um, it's it was kind of tough to see and hidden by the key, but the actual shoreline of our uh, marina here was a little bit kind of underneath the key and a little bit away from the edge. So what I've done is I've gone back and I've actually uh, just extended the terrain a little bit. You can kind of see along the edge of the key there as I'm extending it that the height map is actually adjusting a little bit. You can see that some of the terrain looks like it's there's a steep cliff under where our key is. So I've just gone along the edge here and I have extended our terrain a little bit just so that it's um, right up to the inner edge of the key as we go around here. So now that I've done that, if we go back to our fishing harbors and we put those in, so we're going to have one here, one in the middle, and then one off to the far side. We can see that the terrain is, there's a little bit of an issue with it still, but nowhere near what it was before. So I think I'm pretty happy with that. And we're going to put our fourth one just on this left hand side. Now it is starting to get a little bit crowded in there, but uh, it'll look nice in the end when we start getting our fishing routes going and have uh, our boats coming and going into the marina here. Just going to have to reconnect all of our roads back up. Oh, that wasn't connected before. I'm going to actually smooth out this corner here a little bit. Oh, see, yeah, that looks terrible too. <laughs> it's a little bit tricky to try and uh, get some of these roads back in here. So we'll come actually straight down like we did before. We're going to put it exactly like it was. Cross and up. Yes, I'll have to go back and kind of change that. I think, I think we're having issues with proximity to the key again, or kind of similar to what we were having with the um, fishing harbors themselves, where the terrain itself, although it looks like it's flush against the key, it's maybe not. So we have a very steep, you can see the... Um, the contours of the height map. It's a very steep drop off right where our key is. So I think I have to extend uh, the terrain a little bit so that it's uh, more within the key itself. So I'll do that um, while I'm waiting for the fishing industry to level up. But we can add all of our other roads. So we have our four harbors within the marina, and then we're going to have some of the fish farms along the coastal road here, as I've mentioned a couple times now, I think. And I've actually uh, I started recording a little bit trying to put the fish har uh, fish farms pardon me, along the coastal road here, but I was having uh, more of the same terrain issue. So I've gone ahead and I've actually off screen kind of just quickly gone through and extended the terrain from the shore into the water a little bit to try and avoid that problem. Uh, the area that I was testing out was right about here, and so I'll put in a fish farm right now, and we can see that the terrain still does get a little bit weird along the edge here, um, but honestly not anywhere near as bad as it was over by the harbor, or pardon me, the marina. And honestly, I'm not going to worry too much about it. If I start worrying about every single detail, you know, it's going to take forever to build this city as long longer than it's already taking and uh, from a distance you can't hardly see it so it's not really worth the time I think and effort or I may do it off screen uh, but it's not worth the time and effort to uh, have you guys sit here and watch me fiddle around with the terrain to try and get this one uh, fish farm in so I'll just uh, if if it looks really bad I'll do it off screen but you kind of get the idea of, of what I'm doing is I'm I'm going through and I'm playing around with the terrain and, and placing the building and, and trying to get it so that the terrain doesn't look all messed up when uh, when we actually put the building in there. Uh, so we'll just put a couple of these around the coastal road. Put one right on the edge here. And you see this one goes in fine. Uh, but I think that may be the, uh, the distance away from the key, uh, which is, uh, I don't know. 
I'm I'm totally guessing at this point. If if anybody maybe knows why that terrain is is doing that, uh, please let me know down in the comments uh, because it's it's something that I would fix if I if I knew how to do it. Uh, but I don't want to spend too much time trying to uh, trying to solve all the problems that I run into. Uh, so I think uh, I think we'll put in four farms. So we'll have another one right about here. Yeah, see those the terrain there looks worse. I think that might be actually because of the curve that's right here. So we'll actually shift the farm to this straight section of our key. And okay, maybe not. <laughs> I guess I have no idea what I'm saying. I don't know what the, the deal is with the terrain. So for now, we'll just put uh, the roads in. Have everything connected up. And I will go back. I'm going to try and solve it. It's going to bug me. Uh, but for now, we'll just have uh, the fish farm as it is. We'll put another one here. We're going to have to start uh, accumulating um, some of our fish resources to be able to level up our industry. See, and you can see this far fish farm here. I, I've put it in and there's hardly any issue with the terrain. So it seems to be kind of random at this point. Uh, but that's okay, I guess. <laughs> I'm not going to fight with it. Uh, that's kind of the way it is. Uh, so there, we have uh, our four fish farms, our four fishing harbors. And uh, basically what we're going to do now is we are going to wait and we are going to level up our fishing industry. And as I mentioned in part one, uh, the way we do that, so the fish farms and the fishing harbors, they actually level up independently of one another. So the fish harbors will unlock um, the other four specific uh, specialty fishing harbors based off of the amount of fish that these fishing harbors catch and the fish farms will level up and unlock the algae and seaweed fish farms based off of the amount of fish resources that are farmed. And as for what we're going to do with those fish resources, uh, most of them will for uh, the beginning here at least will be exported, but we're going to add yet another loop to our um, fishing and farming industry here. So we're going to have another loop come off of this road here. I think we're going to have it just kind of curve up and around over to the other road on this side. And so what this is going to do, this kind of is the same idea that we have at our, our farming industry here. So we have our extractor loop and then our processing loop. And we're going to have um, our extractors are basically our fish farms and our fishing harbors. So they uh, are going to be able to transport the fish resources along the road here and then come up and then go across this one way road and then back around. So we basically have a little bit of a loop here and we'll have our uh, fishing um, processing buildings here. So there are two processing buildings that we can use and they are the fish, uh, what were they? The fish factory and the fish market. So what we'll be able to do is we will be able to, let's actually put another road in here so we can have a couple different farms, or pardon me, we'll have a couple different uh, fish factories. We'll just come along here, and then across, make this corner a little bit smoother. Put some of these fish factories in here. Another thing I want to make sure that I do is I don't have my pollution going into the uh, marina that we've made. So I'm just going to keep an eye on that circle, pollution circle, and just make sure it doesn't go into the water. Ooh, that'd be nice to put another one right there. Let's try and shift this over if we can. There we go. We'll put our fish market right here. And the fish market doesn't have any pollution associated with it other than noise pollution, which will not affect the uh, fish in the water. So uh, we don't have to worry about that crossing into the uh, marina that we have. So I don't think we're going to be able to produce enough resources to support all of these factories all at once. So what I'll do is I will turn off a bunch of them. And then as we start gathering resources and as we unlock the other uh, fishing harbors and fish farms, We'll be able to generate more fish resources and enable some more of these uh, fish factories. So what I'll do is, like I said, I'll level everything up. I think I'm going to do a little bit of, of a time lapse 
because I'm going to do a little bit of decorating and I'll probably meet you guys back here in less than a minute and uh, show off what the final result is. It took a little bit longer than I thought it was going to, almost about two hours actually, but we finally unlocked everything for the fishing industry. And that includes the four unique fishing harbors. So I've gone ahead and I have actually replaced the four generic fishing harbors that we had in the marina with one of each of the unique fishing harbors. And I've also assigned the fishing routes for them. So we can see they're going all over the place now. So we are farming anchovy, salmon, tuna, and shellfish. And obviously these aren't the most efficient fishing routes. There's lots of travel time in between uh, when they leave the harbor and when they start actually fishing some of these uh, different types of fish. But uh, I'm actually pretty happy with how it turned out. Uh, there's lots of unique vessels. You can actually see the difference in size between the shellfish fishing boat and the salmon fishing boat. So the shellfish and the tuna fishing boats that actually go pretty far, they actually have a larger capacity than the anchovy and salmon fishing vessels. So even though they travel further, they bring back more fish. So they work out in the end. And I'm, I'm like I said, I'm really happy with how everything turned out. Uh, that includes also unlocking the uh, each of the unique uh, farms within the fishing industry. And so what we have here, I've replaced the fish farms with three seaweed farms. And these three seaweed farms actually have the highest yield out of the different farm types that you can get in the fishing industry. And then lastly, we have just a single algae farm over here. And I have that so that we can enable the algae based water filtering. And actually, once you turn that on in the city policy window there, you can actually visually see the change in water quality coming out of the eco water treatment plants. So as I mentioned in part one of the video, the, uh, Fishing industry info view is actually more sensitive to the pollution in the water than the generic uh, pollution info view. So I'll show a little time lapse of the uh, water pollution going from uh, what it was before we turned on the policy to when we turn on the algae based water filtering policy. It's actually pretty cool. And then what else I've done is I've put in, as you saw in the time lapse, I put in this little uh, kind of facility here, this compound with some of the different uh, filtration buildings. And I've turned them all off because obviously they aren't doing anything. But uh, I always thought it was kind of weird that we didn't have any filtration stuff for water coming into the city. So we have this here just for something that looks kind of cool. And I have the pumping service also over here. So if we ever get hit by a tsunami again or have any other kind of flooding, we can easily just come down here and turn this on and it will sell, pardon me, it will send out the uh, vacuum trucks for us to uh, clear out the roads. And, and I'll also put in lots of trees all over the place. I'm going to kind of leave it as it is right now. I don't want to go too close to our farming industry because once you start putting trees on some of this uh, yellow, kind of green yellow fertile land you actually destroy that fertile land and you can't get it back afterwards so as i mentioned i am going to come back and i'm going to uh, do a little bit of a renovation on our farming industry so i want to make sure i do that first before i start going crazy with the trees and i'm actually kind of happy how this hill turned out uh, when i was just depositing the soil here from doing the landscaping i think it looks kind of cool uh, it has a little bit of a, a crater here. It looks like a caldera from a volcano almost. So I actually kind of like that. I think I'll leave that, maybe touch up the, uh, the bottom uh, edge here. But for now, I'm just going to leave that as it is. And the other thing that I have done is I just kind of smoothed out the uh, coastal road here. Some of the corners were a little bit sharp and some of the things looked a little bit weird. So nothing really too crazy, just a little bit of touch-ups here and there. 
Now, as for the terrain around the uh, fishing uh, farms here, our seaweed farm, I guess it is now, uh, I honestly, I still don't know exactly what's going on. I fixed what the, the issue was before, but I don't know why it's doing what it's doing. So I'll show you again what's happening and how I fixed it. Let me just take this one out now. So when we put this back in, we'll go back to our seaweed farm and just put it in right here. We can see that there's the issue with the terrain here. And for a fix, what I did was I just went into it and I just moved it ever so slightly. And then there, everything looks kind of normal. So I don't know why it's doing that, uh, but that's what I did to fix it. And that's what I did with some of the other ones. They weren't really as bad as, as that one was, I think, but everything looks pretty good now. Even the uh, fishing harbors along here have turned out quite well. So uh, the terrain is has a mind of its own sometimes. And I know uh, there will be people commenting about using mods, move it mod or uh, whatever, but uh, it, hey, we figured it out and I'm pretty happy with that. In retrospect, we maybe should have had the barrier for our marine on the other side. Looking at the water info view, the water in the river is flowing from right to left and should be easily able to enter the marina given the current position of the barrier. However, the water info view also shows us the strength of the current. So we can see from the size of the arrows, bigger arrows mean more current, that the arrows that are around the mouth of the marina here are actually very small, and then in the marina itself there are no arrows. So we are still getting the calm water effect that we were hoping for. This video wasn't much of a tutorial and a bit more casual than what I've been posting recently, and as a result a little bit longer. I wasn't using a script at this time, and despite having a few videos out, I'm still getting used to the whole talking while playing thing. The video shows a bit of the process that I go through when making some things around the city, and nothing is made perfectly the first time, and I usually make a rough draft to see how it works, before going back to tweak it afterwards. So I hope everyone enjoyed, please let me know what you thought down below in the comments, or with a like or dislike. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already for some more City Skylines content in the future, and I'll see everyone in the next episode.